How's it going guys? Um, so I've got uh, a CD update today. Um, I feel like I've been kind of neglecting my CDs lately. Um, I don't always show them and I've uh, picked up some killer CDs lately so yeah I've got uh, six to show so let's just get started. Uh, first one is a classic. This is uh, Sepultura with Schizophrenia. Um, this is a uh, Roadrunner remaster. Comes with a couple bonus tracks. I mean, what really needs to be said about this album? Um, I really dig the artwork on it, though. Uh, this is their second full-length album. It came out in uh, '87, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, one of my favorites by Sepultura. This is where they started getting a little uh, better at their instruments and sounding a lot tighter. Production wasn't as good on this album as their later albums, obviously, but uh, still a lot better than their uh, first album, Armored Visions. Um, standard Digi, or sorry, Standard Jewel Case. Um, really dig the uh, old school Sepultura logo, though. So yeah, um, and I really, really like the uh, version of Troops of Doom on this album. Uh, a lot better than the uh, first version. All right, uh, second one. This is just uh, this is something I haven't owned a physical copy of, but uh, this is Napalm Death with Harmony Corruption. Um, my favorite album by uh, Napalm Death. Um, I just tend to like this sound a little more. Um, I like Barney's vocals a lot, and I like the uh, more uh, straightforward uh, death metal and. Uh, thrash tendencies they have on, on this album as well as uh, uh, you know their following albums but uh, yeah picture of the band on the back although lately I really have been getting into From Enslavement to Obliteration um, it's a really killer album also plan on picking these up on uh, vinyl as well since they've done the uh, FDR reissues for uh, Napalm Death's back catalog. So yeah, um, I just uh, finally had to fill the gap I had. I didn't have this uh, in any physical format, like I said, so finally uh, owned this. I'm really happy about that. Alright, uh, next one. This is an awesome uh, local death metal band. From, uh, I believe from Los Angeles. Uh, this is Skeletal Remains with their album Condemned to Misery. Uh, this is their second full length album. Freaking killer artwork. I love their uh, logo as well. That's the uh, back side. And this came out. I'm not sure exactly when this came out. 20. 15 I want to say maybe anyways Not 100% sure, but I really like how the uh, the CD has the album art on it too. It looks really sick And a picture of the band And I believe uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Farley showed something by these guys or has talked about these guys before um, So yeah, definitely it's just really straightforward old-school death metal. Um, the, the vocals really, really remind me of uh, Pestilence, like consuming, uh, consuming Impulse era Pestilence. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll definitely like this. Um, it's just really solid death metal. Um, they're actually coming out with a new album as well, coming out uh, next month. And uh, yeah, I already pre-ordered that because I was pretty stoked about that. So. Um, yeah, really killer stuff. Check these guys out if you've never heard them before. Alright, um, next up, I've got uh, two CDs by the same band. Uh, this is Morbus Cron with uh, Sleepers in the Rift. Uh, this is their first full length album. They did have uh, one EP before this. And uh, yeah, this came out in uh, 2011. Really killer artwork. It's kind of like H.P. Uh, Lovecraft inspired stuff. Also reminds me of the uh, Dark, Recollec Dark Recollections cover by uh, Carnage a little bit too. 
but um, yeah, it looks really killer. That's the back side. So yeah, um, if you're not familiar with Morbus Kron, they're an awesome uh, old school death metal band from Sweden. And uh, unfortunately, they uh, they broke up a couple years ago after only putting out uh, two full length albums, I think. So that's a shame, but uh, uh, definitely just uh, old school Swedish death metal in the style of all the classics. Um, they kind of do put their own little dark twist on it. It's got kind of like a that kind of darker, eerie vibe, similar to like Tribulation in a sense on their early stuff, or just their music in general. Um, but yeah, I really I, I like the vocals too. They, they sound really like uh, I guess more screamed than growled, but they're still harsh if that makes any sense. But uh. Yeah, it was really, really killer stuff. I'll leave a link so you guys can check them out because it's just good death metal. And then next I've got their uh, second full length album. This is Morbus Kron with Sweven. Yeah, I really dig the artwork on this one a lot. Um, I've showed this on vinyl before. I do have this one on vinyl, but I um, wanted to get a CD version of it so I can rip it to my computer and whatnot. Really cool artwork all, all around. So yeah, this is their second full length and their last full length. Came out in uh, 2014 on Century Media. But uh, yeah, this this album actually they changed their sound a lot from their uh, first album to this one. Um, first thing you've probably noticed is like the sound of the production, like the guitars and stuff. They're not as uh, thick and nasty sounding as they are on their first album. Um, they're a little more on the overdriven side, but um, not to say it doesn't sound like death metal still, because it's still definitely death metal, but it's kind of like got a, like a psychedelic twist on it, and like a lot of like the riffs and like atmospheres on this album are like really trippy. Um, so I mean, I don't know, it's kind of like stoner death metal, if that makes any sense, but it's it's very dark, and uh, it's got a lot of clean and like acoustic parts. Um, Three of the songs on this are actually instrumental, but they fit in perfectly. And um, the whole album is just like a like an evil circus ride or something. It's just it's it's a trip. Um, I definitely think it's a real breath of fresh air in like modern death metal, especially like when it comes to old school death metal. Um, this is no in no way, shape, or form just uh, you know a copycat of the uh, old school stuff. So um, by far this is my favorite uh, Morbus Cron album and um, this is what I'd really recommend checking them out if you wanted to uh, you know check them out or whatnot. So yeah really good stuff. And speaking of Tribulation, I finally picked up their new album came out last, I want to say last month, no, it actually might have come out a few months ago. I've been sleeping on getting this, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a Tribulation with Down Below. Um, this is like the uh, Digibook version, comes with like a hardcover case and stuff. This is the version that I really wanted to get to as soon as I saw that it was available. So it kind of slides out of this hardcover right here. And then it's got like a uh, digi book on the inside. Just like really, really nice quality. Oops, it's upside down. So yeah, pictures of the band and whatnot. I'm not gonna flip through every single page, but it's got the lyrics, it's got some uh, more pictures of the band. Um, a little bit of artwork here and there. That's the uh, CD itself. So yeah, um, if you're familiar with Tribulation, um, this is their uh, fourth full length album. Um, and if you've heard their earlier stuff, it's they're kind of like 
Morbus Kron in the sense where they really started with an old school Swedish death metal sound and then uh, just really started progressing to you know put their own twist on uh, on death metal and whatnot um, they started becoming pretty progressive and just very dark and atmospheric um, when I heard Children of the Night uh, back in 2015 as soon as I heard it it just I was obsessed with it for such a long time and that was definitely my favorite album of that year by far. Um, this album down below is just pretty much a continuation of that sound, of, uh, or continuation of the sound on Children of the Night, but um, definitely not in a, you know, part two type of way where it just sounds like another, like, you know, they're not just sitting in a comfortable spot, you know, they're still pushing boundaries and, and they're still, um, a lot of new ideas and, and whatnot to be found on this album so um, if you like the children of the night um, you're gonna really like this album too because it's very similar in its sound um, and atmosphere so um, yeah I've only listened to this album one, once all the way through so I definitely want to talk about it a little more later on when I'm really familiar with it but um, so far so good I really like this album a lot and uh, I can already tell it's going to be one of my favorite albums uh, from this year, most definitely. Um, and I'll probably be picking this up on vinyl too because I've only got the CD right now. And I really dig the uh, packaging on this too. So yeah, really worth checking it out. Definitely recommend this. Um, so yeah. That's going to be it for this update, guys. Just wanted to show some CDs. Um, probably got some more uh, CDs and records to show. I'm not sure exactly when I'll be making another video. Maybe within the next few days, I'm not 100% sure. But um, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, until next time, take care.